Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the FNAF 10th anniversary. So, um, I just want to say something. So, for one, yes, I last time I mentioned that I was going to do a video on the collab announcement. I didn't, and that was specifically because I thought that I figured that the announcement was going to be like a video such as this. Um, I guess it was, it was just some Twitter post. Because uh, the account, the uh, Scott Games Twitter account, I believe, said... Uh, yeah, it said, keep an eye on... No, that's today. It said, keep an eye on someone's account today. Um, so it was probably the Dead by Daylight, it was probably the Dead by Daylight account. So the collab is FNAF X Dead by Daylight, which, not Fortnite, so, now, does that mean I won't do Fortnite content? Not necessarily, but not too likely. Um, Dead by Daylight, I've, I've heard of Dead by Daylight, I've never played it, um, I've never really had much of a desire to. But if an ass is getting a collab with it, then, you know, the collab doesn't happen until next summer, so, you know, maybe I'll do some Dead by Daylight content in the near future. Perhaps. Um, so I didn't do a video on the collab announcement because we were, um, we were elsewhere yesterday. When I got home from school, I expected that something was going to happen like early in the afternoon. Um, apparently it didn't happen until like later in the afternoon. And by that time we were elsewhere. So, um, I looked at my phone and I saw FNAF X Dead by Daylight and I'm like, shit, it's already happened. So, there's no video on that, but oh well. Um, Yes. Uh, also, a new picture that I'm just now looking at. Ooh. Doesn't that look interesting? So, it looks like, I would say... I mean, my first thought is mangle, but maybe that's just the arm there. I'm not sure if that's like part of Jim Henson's creature shop or if that's just or if that's actually an angle, I don't know. Um Cool. And of course we have FNAFX Dead by Daylight, summer twenty twenty five. Oh hey 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 hey. And that brings us to this. So, um, apparently this is called Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic. Um, that had me intrigued. You see there's Johnny Block's video on that right there. Um, so this is on the Steel Wolf Studio channel. Cool. Um, so we all, or with most of us, thought that it was either going to be Help Wanted 2 DLC or Fall Fest. I thought it was DLC. Apparently it's neither. It's a brand new game altogether. Um, and not just a brand new game from Fall Fest, but a brand new game that we were not expecting at all. Um, now, that does beg the question, though. If this brand new game that seemingly has come out of nowhere is the Steel Wolf announcement of the week, then what is the other Steel Wolf thing that Scott has hinted at in the interview? I mean, I doubt that it's DLC for I wanted to. I doubt that he would, like, make that big of a deal out of it if it was just DLC for I wanted to. But Fall Fest? I could kind of see that being the case. I could see... I could definitely see Fall Fest being that big surprise. Um, or hell, who knows? Maybe they'll just tease yet another 
new thing that comes out of nowhere. But I'm excited about this. This should be a short-ish video. We're already six minutes in. Goddamn. <laughs> this should be a short-ish video. So, hopefully. Uh, let's see what this is. It's been 42 seconds. Let's see. Wait. Wait a second. I think this actually is Falfest. I think this is Falfest. I feel confident. I think that's Falfest. Because from the way the floor looks, and also the way that, what well, I'm assuming is the puppet looks, um, it seems like maybe a Falfest game. Which. Cool. Awesome. Uh. Now, does that mean I'm going to wait till 2025 to make the new FNAF Explained? No, um, I'm not waiting that long. But I will wait until after Into the Pit comes out and we have all the lore from that. If it is indeed canon. Um, so it was not a DLC for Help Wanted 2, unfortunately. Now, does that mean that DLC is not in the works? No, it is definitely in the works. Um, hopefully we'll get something about that soon. And I will play up one and two soon as well. But that was, that was definitely um, the music box theme. So I think that's definitely like a carnival puppet, probably. So interesting. I wonder if we'll get like a like what character could we maybe expect? in Fall Fest, besides, like, obviously the, besides the obvious main cast. Um, well, the Mimic, of course. Uh, the daycare attendant, Eclipse, whatever you want to call him, I think he's definitely going to be present. Um, mascot costume might be present, you know? Although it is interesting that we have a puppet animatronic for this. Now, it also depends on which Fall Fest this is. Because there is, cause there's Fall Fest of A3, which is the Help One One Kirk for Dread Bird DLC. Then, then there's like Fall Fest of 1970. So, it could be like the 1970 that we got teased in Help One 2, or it could be somewhere in between. Um, yeah, it doesn't, now, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to Fall Fest events. It basically just means that it goes back as early as 1970. So, uh, this could be like, you know, 1980 or 1973 or, you know, um, was that the Fest of 77? It could be that, I don't know. Uh... Oh, Johnny Block is uh, doing something live in about half an hour about uh, this and Dead by Daylight. I was think that was that good. Yeah. So interesting. Uh, I'm very excited for whatever the hell this is. It looks cool. Um, so maybe it'll be a fall fifth ish game, or maybe it'll be something else. So this again, next question. What is the other thing that Scott hinted at? Well, if this is Falfest, then one can only assume that whatever the other thing is, if not for some reason, DLC, um, probably continuation of Ruin, if this is not a continuation. Which, from what I think, I would say this is probably Falfest. Or at least maybe Falfest 
fiend. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm excited for Seeker of the Mimic. I'm excited for Into the Pit. Um, uh, excited for all that stuff. So, with that, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know this was a short one, that's because that was a short little thing. If you did, leave a like for the Mimic, or Grimic. Um, if we met him in Ruin. Subscribe, um, so that you do not miss any more 10th anniversary content, like the Into the Pit video, or Five Laps, um, or Help One and Two, or more FNAF games, or other things in general. Um, anyway, hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Um, the, as of right now, as of recording this, the Scott interview is still not posted. Um, it's taken a while to get that figured out. I might have it out by today, I'm not quite sure. Um, hopefully I have it out tomorrow, or before the end of the anniversary. We'll see. Um, after the film, good news on the film, the project film, something thick in this way comes. Good news on that. I have written um, a scene that I still need to do besides the second scene. And I've also fully, I've finished writing, I've fully written the final scene. I know of all the twists and turns that are going to be. It's a long scene. It's definitely the longest one that I've, it's definitely one of the longest interaction I've done so far. And that's because it's a lot of different interactions. Um, I suppose a, there's probably a little bit of a post credit scene as well. I still need to shoot all that, and scene two, and this other scripted thing, and once that's all edited, then I just have to make the final trailer, and um, put all the captions on, and it'll be good to go. So, release date for that, um, it was the 9th, but that's in, well, just a few days. So I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the interview video or not, I can't remember. Um, but I would say probably the 14th, maybe. I would say like the 14th, the 15th, like somewhere around mid-August, the release date of the film, hopefully. Um, uh, then... But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all tomorrow. I will say July, August 7th, for the Five Laps at Freddy's demo, which will hopefully work, unlike the T-Jock demo, which didn't. So, uh, hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow for some go-kart fun. So, uh, see you then.